Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Tyler's Travels. And this is Tyler, our little shy poo, and it'll be six in June. Hey, darling. And she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Well, today we're going to be looking at this. Which we got for the camper van. Um, I know you don't need a TV in the camper van, but it's just nice to be there, something under the back up, because... Let's face it, there's only so many times you can win at Scrabble. So it's put on the floor and we'll have a look at it. So there's the box. And it come from Amazon and this is how it come. Um, I did back this. I'll have to see what it looks like inside. No, I chose this one because it's a sort of brand I've heard of, and they do seem to do a lot of things for the camper van market, as such, or the portable market. So there we go, it's inside there, and it's got a, it's got a piece of polystyrene or whatever it is there just to check the screen I imagine and what else have we got in here we've got the instruction box we don't need them do we instructions who needs them so inside this must be yeah looks like it's the TV so oh, there we are 14 inch and it's got the stand on the back and numerous inputs sorry about the lighting I'm just doing this in the uh, spare bedroom so that's that and what's in here so in here we get Oh, more control. What else do we get? 12 volt power for it. And some cables. Batteries. And aerial. And a 240 hour result for it. And I've just noticed as well on the back, it's got mounting brackets, so you can actually mount that to uh, a wall uh, somewhere on the van, maybe. And you've got obviously the little buttons there as well to override the control of the remote. Yeah, it's a uh, Nice bit of kiss. So I'll just put the, uh, the batteries in the remote control. Dead straightforward, dead easy to do, and quite a nice little remote control. And just put the back on. And jobs are coming. There we go. So we've just connected the um, power input to the unit and then we've got the adapter which I'll plug in. And there we go, it's all powered up. So I just plugged in. Hello! And there we are, it's plugged in. Got a bit of power. And there's the aerial for it. Oh, we'll give it some power. Well, we'll just have a quick look at the um, instructions. Not that I need them, but you never know.
mean, there's the specifications of it. And then all the usual bump regarding the safety information. And then, whatever language that is, etc. So this is what we're getting now. We're getting uh, first sam insulation. And I think if I just click OK. Well, I've been messing around for ages trying to get this TV to work. And uh, I was reading the instructions and it said there's an on off switch, which was set to off. So no wonder it wasn't working. So just pay to read the instructions. I thought I'd get away without it and I thought it was a bit odd. I was on the verge of sending it back. I thought, this is going back. <laughs> but no, it's, it's my fault. Typical man. Right, I think I'm going now. It seems to be uh, working okay. So it's doing the tuning. So we'll see how many channels it picks up. Bearing in mind that um, I haven't really moved the aerial around really, I don't really know what it's going to get. But we'll see what happens. A few moments later. To be honest, I moved the aerial away from the computer screen, the uh, Mac down there and the TV, and I put it on the window ledge, um, and it's getting a few channels. It's getting about 32 now, with some samos and isn't too bad. Well, after about oh, 45 minutes of trying, moving the aerial around, changing it, doing this, doing that, I've got 53 channels, 24 radio programs, and three data, and it's still on 90%, so I might get a few more. Fingers crossed, it might be all right. Well, I've got channel five and it's a gadget show and the quality of the picture isn't too bad. The sound's a bit tinny, but um, it's to be expected. It's a small TV. So uh, overall, yeah, it's not too bad. And I'm sure when we use it in the campsites and stuff, it'll be fine. Well, to be honest, it's only there as a backup anyway. It's not going to be there like the sat watching movies or anything. It's just going to be there watching, I don't know, <laughs> and Jack on a Saturday night, something like that. <laughs> Who knows? Some crappy program on a Saturday night, drinking a glass of wine, peace and quiet. Well, a bit of crap on the TV, but yeah, I, I think it'll do for that. So, all in all, with that little TV, Quite happy with it. It's um does the job, does what it's supposed to do. Sound not the best, pitch not the best, but in the day it's going in a camper van. So really, if you have to TV for about hundred quid, I'm not sure what that is in dollars or whatever the currency that is out there, but uh oh he's Tyler. Hey Tiles! Tiles, do I get a kiss? Oh, he's Tyler, Tyler, yes he is, oh. <laughs> Hello Tyler. Hello, I was just doing a video then. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. What did you think of the TV, Charles? What did you think of the TV? Look <laughs> um, I think Charles liked the TV. But yeah, thumbs up. Get one.